<laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're pre reviewing God of War and I'm annoyed because I've already reviewed this four times but I've got it for too long on one of them, too short on another one, didn't record at all on another one. So yeah, we're on the fourth try here, outtake four, let's hope this works out. Um, I enjoy it, it is a good game, it is enjoyable, love the mythology, love the whole backstory to it, Kratos is amazing. Um, bosses could be better, it does seem to just be a repeat of already done bosses, like the trolls seem to just be a reskin of trolls we've already had. But it can't be helped with a game like this. I uh, think they could have dived more into Norse mythology, 4 and all that could be chucked into it, but I think 4 will come next game of Ragnarok. Um, it's, I'm really enjoying it. And it does deserve the credit it's got. I think, honestly, I wouldn't spend the asking high price for it. I would wait till it comes out on offer. It's an amazing game, but I wouldn't look up and say buy any game at full price because some of the prices are a bit flimsy um, for the game it is. I wouldn't spend any full price on a game, but going on offer price is quite a nice price. It's not that expensive. I think I spent. £15 possibly on this at offer price so that's quite good going uh, it's an amazing game and I would buy it if if you get the chance buy it if you don't get the chance then I'm sorry but you've missed out it's a really fun game to play and there's many different things to do it if you don't like running around beating the shit out of people you can do stuff like what I'm doing and just well, it still counts to beat shit out of people, but it's a timed thing. It's like a dungeon. More like Mr. Um, Film is a dungeon world. And. I do like that how we have got other realms which don't mean you have to do what the base game tells you to do. You can go on your own little adventure. I like how the story is also kind of chuffed at you, but you don't have to do it straight away. You can take breaks and go do other stuff like killing Valkyries or freeing drag dragons from Captain or collecting pieces of lore and other stuff like that. Or doing favours for people like capturing. I think the latest one for me is capturing a magician or something to help with something or other. Um, I'm not quite sure what that one is, but I hope uh, I'll get around to it. Right, on to reviews. Gameplay 9.5, it's really fun, I'm enjoying it. Uh, there's a many glitches. I have realised the, the axe seems to like to teleport through walls. And seems to not like to completely go with full of physics, but that's mine so far. I do like these little traps which you have to wait for certain times to be able to get ahead, and I do like how different enemies take different damage from them. So, frost enemies, you have to swap into the blades of chaos, some damage most because it's a frost enemy, and certain enemies like fire enemies, you use the axe or the axe because that's what does the most damage. And I do like that because it does it does mean you have to keep the balance between weapons. Um, I also like how when you chuck in the bosses, they do have their own little special things which make them stronger or weaker or immune to certain attacks, so on and so forth. I do like the fact that you, when you get the bosses, which, and for Magni and. So see another one which I keep forgetting the name of. It's just useless. But the two brothers, when you fight them, um, they do have stages to the attack where they go from blinding you and attacking you, whereas you need a guesswork where they're coming from, 
to brutally beat the sh out of you because why not? Um, I do find that enjoyable. The no, the stages of not knowing exactly what's going to happen when. I also do like how Kratos is so violent. Like, you don't have to be violent. You can go for at least an hour of the gameplay without actually having to kill anything. If you like adventuring, you can explore and do little side quests, which will still get your trophies and still get your achievements, get you certain better stuff. And probably make people like you more, to be honest with you. I haven't done any of the side quests, so I wouldn't know what the hell. Okay, Kratos, you do you. Um, I do like these little traps as well. I like how you have to chuck your axe at stuff to get it to work. And it does seem convenient that everything works by like chucking an axe at it. But hey ho, who can complain? I mean, it does make some annoying moments where you're trying to just chuck your axe at stuff and it just won't work. But oh well. Um, game players are whole, gamers are whole. I think it goes six. It's a really fun game. I have no. Well, I would it go six? I'd go a nine. I have no complaints. I have no regret buying it, and it is fun now. I'm going to add a new category, which I'm going to try and do for every game I play. I'm going to do a category of would I suggest buying it. So God of War, yes I would suggest buying it. I wouldn't suggest buying it full price. I would wait till it's on offer and then buy it. Because full price, from what I've seen, it's quite an expensive at full price. And I wouldn't really buy any game at full price because I don't ever know if I look them or like them or not. So it's kind of a, if you're going to pay for it full price, it's kind of a hit or miss. I would watch a load of reviews on it beforehand to understand what you're getting yourself into before just chucking yourself and going, you know what? I think I will like it. Let's give it a go. I would wait for offers, but I would buy it. I do suggest buying it. It is really good and it is enjoyable. You can get at least. 30 odd hours of story mode out of it, and then some extra add ons on top, like Nulf, Mitnusapon, whatever the fuck I am at the moment, and all that. You can get some extra game time out of it, which is thankful. Until we get to the logical parts like that, where you can't just glitch for a wall, which is the first glitch I've seen, and I can't explain that to be honest with you. That was close. Um, anyway, it's really enjoyable and I would suggest getting it. That's it for today. Next video will be Cyberpunk 2077. Got to add in the 2077 part because it just feels wrong just saying it. Cyberpunk. Um, that will be next week and we'll do it the same. Hit right like button and subscribe. Stay safe, don't get any into any trouble, stay in your houses, do what everyone tells you to do, and I will see you next video. Cheerio!